I wanted to do a brief lesson that covers the changes to the browser in Live 9, as there have been some significant updates to the layout and functionality. Rather than simply having switches down the left side now, there is a separate section entirely dedicated to the different types or locations of files you're looking for. In the upper half, it's Categories, which allows you to search for files by their type. And in the lower half, you have Locations of Files, in the Places section. Once you've clicked on one of those though, the navigation is basically the same as before, with the results then showing in the list to the right, after which they can be navigated in all the same ways, by clicking with the mouse or using the arrow keys on the computer keyboard, with the up and down keys moving up and down through lists and the left and right keys opening and closing folders. As you can hear, Selecting results now previews them using Live's improved auditioning facility. As before though, this is stopped with the spacebar and turned on and off more permanently with the switch at the bottom and the preview volume set with the Q dial on the master channel. And a handy keyboard shortcut here is that if you have previewing turned off, you can still audition a selection by hitting shift and enter on your computer keyboard. Loading a selection is done, as always, by double-clicking it or dragging it into your set. So let's go through the different options in the left-hand list then, starting at the top. The first category is Sounds, and this is all your presets, be they individual instrument presets or instrument racks containing multiple instruments. The cool thing here is that the list on the right is now divided up by the type of sound, but includes all Live's instruments. So if I open up the bass folder now, then the list contains .adg and .adv files. The ADV options are all individual instruments, which could be Live's sampler instrument or one of its synthesizers. Whereas the ADG options are racks, which contain one or more instruments and often a chain of effects too. If you prefer to though, you can still search by instrument type rather than sound type, which is done by clicking on the instruments category. This then displays the list of live instruments, the folders for which can then be opened to see the available presets for that instrument, once again categorised into the type of sound the preset creates. The second option down is drums, and this is a cool one as it separates all the drum files off into their own section to make them easier to find. In the lower half of the list are all kits, which are predominantly drum racks, either loaded with samples or synthesized drums. And there's the empty drum rack option at the top here for creating your own kit. Just above this, you have a drum hits folder, which contains different types of drums. These can be simply audio files or one of live samplers loaded with the sample and processed with effects. Both of these can be dragged to drum rack slots, however, to become one of the drums in your kit. Effects browsing is completely identical to the previous browser, only now you have separate category switches for audio and MIDI effects. And as before, there's a plug-in switch for browsing to any AU or VST instruments or effects you may own. Activated in the same way, using the switches in the file folder section of Live's preferences. One thing that is completely new to Live's browser is Max for Live, which offers a load of additional effects and instruments to all Live 9 suite owners, as it's included for free with that, or is available for a small cost for owners of the standard version of Live. Essentially, the Max devices work the same way as other Live devices, in that you add them to audio or MIDI tracks in the same way, and they all come with a few different presets to try. We'll be looking some more at Max for Live later on in the advanced course. Two more brand new categories in the browser include clips and samples. Clips is a list of all the available audio or MIDI clips, which can be audio loops or MIDI clips playing instruments. And samples is all of the raw audio samples, so all instrument 
drum, vocal, or effect sounds at your disposal. The lower half of the left section is a quick way of accessing the different locations on your computer you might want to search for files in. One you may recognize from Live 8 is the library. This is all of the library content from Live 8, so there's no need to worry about losing anything when you upgrade Live because everything is available directly there. Then you have the current project option, which is a shortcut to your project folder, which will contain any audio files you've recorded, consolidated or collected into the project. Another option is the user library. This is a new area, which is entirely dedicated to any things you save yourself whilst working in live. So any devices you edit, or racks you build, or clips you create, and so on. And there's also an option for adding a new place yourself, if you want to have a permanent destination here for locating files, such as your sample library. This is set up very easily by simply clicking Add Folder, then navigating to the folder you want to be added to the list. Lastly, at the top of the Places list is a Packs option. This is a quick way of checking out any packs you have installed on your computer. For anyone who doesn't know, a live pack is a collection of live sounds, which can be anything from samples and clips, to devices or complete sets containing extra documents. Many packs are available in the suite, as well as there being more options that can be purchased from other manufacturers or downloaded from the Ableton website. Once downloaded, you simply double click the pack file to install it into Live. The individual components from the pack can then be browsed and loaded from the packs folder, or using the category switches above, as a packs contents are often loaded into the main library, so you'll see more options appearing in many of the sections lists when a new pack is installed. Finally, Live has an improved search facility, which means you can look for files in all categories simultaneously by their name. There's a useful keyboard shortcut here again too. You just hit Command and F on a Mac, or Control and F on a PC, then type in whatever you're searching for. After which you get both device presets, clips and samples showing up in the list. Now I can use the up and down and return keys to choose one from the list. And the escape key to clear the search field.